Hey Benny, once again you asked me a question, and that is, what is ESLint? But to answer that question, we need to ask, what is linting, and why do we use it in JavaScript? One of the reasons linting in JavaScript has become so popular is because JavaScript is such a loosely typed and dynamic language, which makes it prone to developer errors. And linting is essentially static analysis of our code to find problematic patterns. And it can also be used for us to follow along a specific code style guide. So with ESLint and other tools, uh, other linting tools, we can find problematic patterns in our code without executing it. From the ESLint about page, it says that ESLint is an open source JavaScript utility to help developers create their own uh, linting rules. But forget about all that. Uh, let's check out some real world example and see how it works. So here we are. I set up this super simple project and has an app.js file and a package.json. In our app.js, we have some super simple code, uh, and as you can see, we have no semicolons. And that's one of the things we want ESLint to lint for us. But first, let's install it. We're in our dire uh, directory, we'll type npm install ESLint. We could add it globally here, but that's not what I want. I want to keep stuff like this locally. We'll just do it like this, and hit enter. To access our locally installed ESLint package, we'll just add type dot the slash node modules, then dot bin, and then ESLint. Here we can also run an optional setup process by doing dash dash init. What this will do is go through a couple of standard questions and create a configuration file for you. But that's not what I want, I want to create my configuration file by myself. So I just reload this. Here in our main project directory, I will add a new file. And it's called dot dash dot eslint or rc.js. And in here I will just paste some standard configuration file. As we can see, we export an object with some uh, configuration variables. Let me say this is node project, we're gonna use common.js and ES6. And in here, in the root class here, this is where we will add our rules. If you don't want to get bothered by all these configuration and rules and all that, you could just simply skip all that and use a predefined one. There are tons, for example, Airbnb, but ESLint also has uh, their recommended. And you just type it like this. You type the extend keyword, then ESLint, and for in, in this example, uh, recommended. But it could also be Airbnb. As I said before, we want to check uh, semicolons. We'll add a root for that, and it's called semi. After that, we add an array, and we'll say in the first part of the array, we'll say that this this should give us an error, and then that we will always check if we should have semicolon or not. As you can see, we don't get any live updates or anything. But to check this file, that we're actually to lint this file, we will need to run it with our ESLint. So no modules bin eslint and then the name of the file we want to check is so app.js as you can see here we get two errors from missing semicolons in this file and if we correct them and run it again we get nothing back no errors but we want to be able to check this file while we code to get live errors so we remove uh, the semicolons We'll install a package that's called PSLint uh, in Visual Studio Code. And then I already have it installed, so I just enable it. It's this package by Dirk Berg. So we we'll reload. And while I, when I hit save, we'll see that we get some red uh, markup here that will uh, say 
can say that we're missing semicolon. So it's this and it's this. So that's basically how you add ESLint uh, to Visual Studio Code and your project, JS project. If you liked this video and want to see more similar videos, press the like button and subscribe.